Okay. Did some shopping. This thing is filled with a lot of great information. 1750 Canadian from uh, our friends at the Spruce. I bought this for drill sizes. It turns out it doesn't actually have a drill size chart in it. Um, but tons of other amazing information. So definitely pick yourselves up one of them. Got some reamers. Yeah, I got 28, 10, uh, 19, and a 33. And these were all kind of recommended to me by people on the Vans Air Force forums um, as being the correct drill sizes and reamer sizes. Uh, forget who recommended that to me but uh, he was an airframe technician so I'm rolling with that uh, also got various drill bits So now I am going to dimple 616 PP, which is the trim servo cover. Get this uh, parts all nice and scuffed, ready for primer. And uh, I'm going to be dimpling these guys up. Um, I did want to kind of final size drill them, and it doesn't seem like that's necessary. Um, the reamer size for a number. Six dimple is uh, a number 28, and as you can see, these are already going right through, no problems. So, I do want to do just a little bit more digging and find out if I have the right size because uh, I mean, there are punch marks on the inside of that hole, and uh, they're slightly rough, and I would think that it would need a final drill of some sort. However, the dimple in the squeezer, like the pilot in the squeezer fits quite quite nicely. And actually, if anything, there's a little bit of play. I don't know if you guys can see that. Now this isn't actually going to go there, but I just wanted to test that. These are going to be going under this.
And here's a perfect example of why you want to put tape on your dimple dies. Because it totally eliminates that ring. But because this is a substructure part, that'll be primed, first of all. Uh, you won't really see that, so not a big deal, but you will get the rings if you don't use your painter's tape. got these guys countersunk machine countersunk was a little bit tricky but I think the trick is to set up on a scrap piece and only go far enough so the rivet just is flush um, and you definitely need a, a backer so I used uh, a nice fresh hole drilled in my MDF and they turned out pretty well as you see I had to chop half my um, countersink to fit in nice and tight also got around to drilling the counterbalance weight into the counterbalance uh, I guess assembly and I started with uh, a thin drill bit just so I could um, correct any drift and so as you can see in here there it's it's a little lower than I would like it to be um, I'd like that to be a little bit higher more in the center of that area um, at the nose of the rib it's a number 10 screw and with the nut that gets installed on here I don't want the nut contacting the base so let's see if that will happen well that's a nut installed and there is some clearance so it looks like I'm okay but when I final drill size it I will try to get that brought up just a little bit if possible Here's number 10's drilled. Pretty happy with how they turned out. Shouldn't be any issues. We have a bunch of work left. We need to dimple these, number 10. We need to machine countersink the counterbalance to accept those dimples. There is a little bit, slight bit of shaping that needs to be done to these edges and these edges. Um, you need to follow the contour of this right here. Have some dimpling to do. I have some scuffing to do. I do have some uh, rib straightening I need to do with these guys. And just a heads up for you guys, drilling the lead. Bit of a pain in the ass. It really wants to grab your drill bit and suck it on in. These are the shavings. And they were, it was, it was quite difficult. It, uh, it really wanted to drag the drill in and I kind of learned this a little bit when I was using my pilot drill 
and I had a really difficult time not having reverse, so I switched to my my cordless DeWalt Mac tool. And uh, the reverse definitely came in handy for backing the drill bit out when it was getting all plugged up with all that. I still had some decent control, but it just had the extra torque to get through the lead counterbalance. And again, as a reminder, full balance on the left elevator. And here is the cutaway all marked for the right elevator. She'll probably make a video of me uh, probably using an end mill on a milling machine at work, taking care of that.